Good morning. Good morning. Another beautiful, beautiful day. Here in my little mountain getaway. See what the cards have for us today. I had a very interesting experience yesterday. And then uh, a friend posted something about parallel universes and all that stuff. Um, and literally yesterday I got hit with this flood of memories. But I don't know if they're real memories or if it was a dream. It was really interesting. Very, very interesting. And then a friend posted something about this, you know, like experiencing, feeling a little different um, and alternate universes and realities. And it's like, very, very strange, very strange. And I sat here, and I'm like, did, did those did those memories really happen, or was it a dream, or where did these memories come from? Maybe they came from an alternate reality, a parallel universe. I don't know, but it was so weird. And then to see my friend post something about it, it was like, huh, maybe everybody was feeling the energy. And apparently the energy on the planet is just off the hook, if you pay attention to the Sherman, 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 I don't know how you pronounce it. The thing that measures the energy frequency on the planet has been going crazy. So all of our energy is, we are waking up. Our vibration, at least, is bumping up to another level because you can feel it. Maybe you can feel it. I can feel it. So maybe the cards will have some kind of helpful information for us for dealing with this extra energy parallel universes. Who knows? Who knows anymore? Who knows what is going on on this planet? But we're definitely waking up. So let's see what the sacred rebels have for us today. Some knowledge, wisdom, and guidance for the collective. What do we need to know? What will help us? What will help us? on this beautiful Thursday morning. What do we have? Collaborative dreaming. So much collaboration stuff has been coming up for me as well. Collaborative dreaming. Now is the time to collaborate. Good morning, Heather. And I know m myself being the artist that I am, I just kind of love to create when the spark is there. But this came up a couple weeks ago for me in a, in a personal reading I did for myself, Collaborative Dreaming, and it's all about now is the time for us to really collaborate, to join forces, to pull our resources together to say, hey, you're creating amazing things, I'm creating amazing things, maybe we should create amazing things together. So. Keep your eyes open and peeled for when people pop into your life and have some kind of collaborative ideas or something for you to collaborate with them because we are definitely in that space, that energetic space where people are starting to come together to join forces to be more, you know, powerful of a collective than trying to do it alone. So our book says, your heart is big enough to dream, not only for yourself, but for a new humanity. Imagine a world that is healed with respect, understanding, and with community that fosters life. Even your dreams that relate to you alone will contribute positively to the greater good because that is the nature of your heart. Your heart naturally and intelligently cooperates in a grand scheme of loving creativity working to heal the hearts of the world. The heart creates win-win situations that benefit the individual and the collective. You are being asked to honor your growing desire to collaborate with consciousness, like-minded people. Your collaborative dreaming is a heart-inspired heart win-win bringing mutual enhancement to yourself and others. The heart wants to love and be loved. Working with others creativity, creatively is a way to allow the heart to grow. It's a chance for you to learn how to honor yourself and others and to find ways to live and let live 
simply by growing and strengthening your activities. Trust in your heart and your guidance. So collaborate, my friends. Collaborate. Maybe there's some people in your life you're like, oh, I've been thinking about doing something or reaching out. Reach out. Now is the time. If you have that little, I should call Bob, call Bob. Bob probably has something for you. Or Susie. And if you don't know, I always refer to Bob and Susie. That's right, Bob and Suze. I don't know who they are. But, you know, now is the time to collaborate. We're creating a new world. We are. We're tearing down the old. It's going to be a bumpy ride. But we should be collaborating to create the new world. To create, you know, a space that is beneficial for all of us. Everybody. Not just the select few. So let's see what the Keepers of the Light have for us to go along with our collaborative dreaming. What do the Keepers of the Light have for us? Some kind of knowledge, wisdom, and guidance for the collective on this collaboration. We have Freya, phrases and cycles. There's beginning with every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. Illusions are revealed and released. So maybe you have some illusions in your mind about collaborating with people. Let them go. Good morning. Just let them go. We got our crow. We got our big, beautiful moon. There is a beginning with every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. And there are so many illusions that are being revealed right now. But we also have to release them. Let them go. We can't hold on to them every time we find out that, oh, shit, we've been lied to again. Yeah, we've been lied to our whole life. Take a deep breath, let it go, and start moving on. The illusions are being revealed, and the illusions are all around us. Everything from school to church. Yep, I said it. Your church, everyone has been fucking lying to you your whole fucking life. Everybody. Everyone has lied to you. Jesus isn't a white man. He's a black man. That's right. He's a man of color. Everything is a fucking lie in this country. So the illusions are being <laughs> released. Let them go. Let them go. There is a beginning with every ending. Let the end come. Let it all burn down because it's all built on a giant lie. So, collaborative dreaming is how we're going to rebuild the new. The illusions are being released. They're being revealed. Now release them. Let them go. Stop playing this game that I'm a Catholic and a Christian and Moses is a white dude. There's no chance in hell that Moses is a white dude or anybody else in your fun book, the Bible. They are all people of color. Surprise. All right, sorry for that little tangent. It just annoys the fuck out of me. Don't lie, but everything we're going to tell you is a giant lie. Wrap your head around that one. All right, so collaborative dreaming, phases and cycles. We are going through the phases and the cycles. The illusions are being revealed. What do our angels and ancestors have for us? What kind of knowledge, wisdom, and guidance do we need to keep breaking these cycles, to keep breaking the chains, so we can really create the most beautiful place for all of us? And we have the protection guardian. Drop your shield. Drop your shield. And know that you're protected. Let's see what the book has to say about the protection guardian. She's definitely a good one. And, you know, in, in revealing these illusions, we, we need to be protected. Call in your guides, saints, sages, all the ascended masters, and say, Hey, man, you got my back? While I, while I bust through these illusions, while I help people wake up, the protection guardian is there and has your back. You have encountered shame or embarrassment in your past, but that is not your present. Angels drawing close at this time to help you move beyond any limiting thoughts, emotions, and patterns that may be making you feel unsafe. Know that angelic protection is swirling around you at this moment and will help you move forward in a more fearless way. Call on your guides for help in changing your frequency so you can feel safe and protected at this time. You are stronger than you think, and your angels and ancestor guides are here to help you realize that. So, if you were a little nervous about 
the illusions being revealed, you don't have to be. You're protected. Your spirit guides have your back, even if you never talk to them, because you were told that your spirit guides are from the devil. There's another one that you can say fuck off to as well. Stop being disconnected from everything. You're connected to absolutely everything. The good and the bad. It's all the same. It all comes from the same place. And know that you're protected. Start collaborating to create the new world, the new reality that we all deserve to live in. All of us, not just the few. And know that you're protected. Everything is being revealed. All of the lies are, are coming out. And just be strong. Know that you're protected. Know that your whole world may crumble when you're like, oh, wow, that was a lie too. And that was a lie as well. Oh, and that was a lie as well. All to keep me, to keep me controlled so I don't realize how powerful I am. Now you can step into your power. Take your power back. Know that you're protected. You're taken care of. You're supported. Let go of all of the bullshit. It's heartbreaking to think of how much we've all been lied to about everything. But when you can start realizing that the illusions are being revealed, that you're the creator of your reality, you're the creator of absolutely everything, then you can actually start creating the most beautiful life because you're not going to care, oh no, this person said I'm going to go to hell if I do that. You can pretty much tell that person to fuck off. You're not going to go to hell. Oops. I don't know. I'm, I'm in one of those moods today. I apologize. Um, maybe it's the energy on the planet or the cards or just like I cannot take people blindly following along and not questioning and not saying, no, this isn't right. Not saying that every religion on this planet has been massively creative to, to, to just keep us, to keep us controlled so you don't actually realize the power that we have. So, take your power back. Know that you're protected. Start collaborating with people that actually want to create a new world that's supportive and beneficial for everyone, not the select few. All right, let's see what our energy for the day is. What kind of energy do we have? I'm feeling very feisty energy, if you can't tell. But let's see what, what the cards have for us today. Some knowledge, wisdom, and guidance for the collective. What do we need to help us move forward? What do we need? Let's go. Let's go this way. Ah, we need the sun. We need the sun. Get outside. New birth. Let it all come. That new world that we're creating. If we can get our heads out of our ass and stop blindly following along. If we can actually, you know, take our power back and be courageous. And say, no, everything you told me in school is a giant lie. Everything you told me in church is a giant lie. Everything everyone has ever told you has been a lie. And we get the sun. Go out under the sun. Start creating the new. Start creating truth. Start living your truth. Let's see what the book has to say about the sun card. To wrap up this feisty morning reading. <clears throat> new beginnings and great creativity. New beginnings and great creativity. The sun brings blessings to the earth. And this card... <clears throat> propels blessings in your own life as well. Just as the sun nurtures the earth, bringing new life in the spring and summer, this is your time for a new beginning, the onset of nurturing new light in your life, the light of divine inspiration the person and personal growth. This card often makes a time of great creativity, bringing the culmination of an important new project, such, such as the birth of a baby or writing of a publication or a new book or even the birth of a new you. Now is the time for you to put your energy into expressing your truth and vision. Your truth and vision. Not a stupid church's truth. Your truth. Not a random collective of lies, truth to control you. Your truth. Your truth. Now is the time to put your energy into expressing your truth. Not the truth that someone tried to force feed you. Visualize the light of divine love pouring into your heart and mind like the rays of the sun, bringing inspiration, growth, and abundant blessings. See the future you want to create and know the sun is shining on your intentions now. So, collaborate. 
collaborate, create, 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 create. You're protected, bust through the bullshit, the illusions are being revealed, it's all been a fucking lie, surprise, you've been lied to forever, and then start creating. Collaborate and start creating the new life. Let those old lies go that have kept us all in control forever, bust through them and start creating the new world. Start collaborating with people that are on your vibration and create the new world. Let go of all the bullshit. Let go of all of the shit that we've been told since we've come out of the womb. You are an unbelievable, infinite, creative being. If you're going to believe those fancy books, you're created in the image and likeness of God. Own it. Stop giving your power away. Own it. Be the God that you are. Collaborate and create the new world that's, that's beneficial for all of us. So that's our uh, our feisty our feisty reading today. Sorry if I went off a little bit, but it annoys me. It annoys me that that for lifetimes, eons, us silly humans have just blindly followed along. It was like, well, that guy in charge said it, so it must be true. That guy in the church said it, so it must be true. It's not. None of it is fucking true. None of it. Listen to what you feel in your heart and go from there. And let that new beautiful world come into existence. I love you all. Take your power back. Stop believing the lies. Stop believing the bullshit. And believe what is in your heart. And move from that space. Move from a space of love and kindness. Be kind to your fellow man. You know, do the golden rule. That's it. That's the only fucking commandment you need. Thank you all. Sorry again for the feistiness and the F-bombs. Just the energy I'm feeling today. Have a great day, everybody. Be safe. I will see you all tomorrow morning. Have a lovely, lovely day.